Hey everybody, welcome to Tired Rider. Hope that you are doing well today. As always, we're still in the storage unit. We've got two more weeks. So excuse the highway noise, please. Um, got a question for you guys. I know a lot of us older riders and younger riders, we suffer from some kind of pain, back pain, arm pain, arthritis, things of that nature. Um, does that ever stop you from riding? Do you, do you get a beautiful day like it is right now? And I'll explain why I'm not on the motorcycle right now. It's 89 degrees and I'm sitting here on the motorcycle doing a video and I'll explain why. But do you ever get up on any day that's beautiful? You got plans to go riding, your arm hurts, your back hurts, your neck hurts, your hands hurt, which mine always do. And you decide, you know, I'm just not gonna ride today. I'm in too much pain. Or is the call to ride so great for you, like it is for me, that you go ahead and ride anyway? Now, that's my question to you. Now I'll give you the reason why I am not on the motorcycle today. It's got nothing to do with pain. Um, like I said, I'll ride with all, I ride with all kinds of pain. There is not a day I do I do not wake up where I'm in some kind of pain somewhere on my body due to having arthritis <clears throat> and other issues, neck, just all kinds of issues. But anyway, the reason I'm not on the bike today, me and the wife went out of town for a little weekend getaway and on our way to the trip i was driving on the trip i was driving and i wasn't feeling that good and uh i just wasn't feeling that good feeling like maybe i was coming down with something so the whole uh drive it was like a five six hour drive I was going to tennessee the whole drive down i was like you yeah, know coming down with something so we get to the hotel and I'm like, ah, I'll be all right. You no, know, we got in late. We supposed to leave early in the morning. We didn't get to do that. We ended up, ended up leaving later in the evening. So we got in late to the hotel, get down there. I'm like, oh, I'll get a good night's sleep and I'll be all right. I got half, half decent night's sleep. Woke up the next day, which would have been a Saturday. And I'm just, my throat's not feeling right. My head's not feeling right. You know, I got, sniffles going on I'm like uh I'll be okay anyway we went on about our day we had several things we wanted to do that day several things planned and we, we got pretty much all of them done and lo and behold toward the evening we were up in the mountains on a tram ride and we got up in the mountains we did a stair lift and things like that up even further into the mountains and we didn't take the motorcycle we drove and I started feeling even worse and I just toughed it out. She wanted to do a, a mountain coaster ride where they have down there and uh, got her hurt. And if you sit on it yourself, you're by yourself, you're in control of it, you go through the mountains. And I went up to, to the side of a mountain. I went up there and did that. And after that, it was over. It was over. I had a sore throat like you wouldn't believe. So throat, uh, glands were swollen. It felt like I was, every time I swallowed, it felt like I was uh, swallowing razor blades. And I mean, it just got bad. Ears, just every time I swallow, my ears would crackle, 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 what they are doing right now. And it just got bad. That night at the hotel, I could not sleep. I was up all night. I could not swallow. We had plans on Sunday to spend the whole Sunday there and a lot of things to do on Sunday. Ended leaving up, leaving Sunday morning. And I have been sick ever since. Now, thank God Sunday on the way back, she drove back. My wife never drives when we're on trips. I always drive. But uh, she had to drive back. And on the way back, my sore throat kind of gave up, you know, kind of went away. But then everything just went, I mean, my, I just, just constant drainage, constant drainage, constant drainage on my nose, constant blow my nose, uh, cough, and you name it, it just went crazy. That's why I'm not out on this beautiful day today. But that's not what the video is about. Just trying to explain why I'm not riding today. I don't want to get out in that with the allergies on top of what I got and end up being 10 times worse. So anyway, do you ride when you have pain? Does that stop you from riding? I can't think of one time where having, you know, it's like I have, I have no carpets in my thumbs, my knees are bad, my back's bad, everything on me is 
bad because I have arthritis all through my body. And I've been suffering with that for many, many years. But I still get out and ride. I could be, my neck could be just totally just, just killing me. My arms could be killing me. My hands could be killing me. My knees could be killing me. My back, wherever. So not, not everything hurts every day, but there's just certain parts that will. Some days, everything hurts from head to toe. But I still get on the bike and ride. I'll still ride on the bike, and I'll still get out and ride. Um, that's why we were thinking about going to a tri-glide. We, we, we've been looking for tri-glides, because I thought, you know what? It would be much easier on me as far as the weight of the bike, the weight of us, if you, if, if I just get a try guy and the, you know, you got three wheels, you can, and I can handle the situation. Well, if you watch my channel at all, you know that my, my wife used to have a spider and she would ride behind me. Well, she got to where she thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna sell the spider, I wanna just ride with you. And, I, and I, that's cool. But now, she's looking for another spider to kind of help me out so I don't have to have so much of that on me on two wheels. Cause I'm just, <clears throat> excuse me, See, my butt throat's a mess. Um, but I'm just not ready to go to the Trigon. Not because it costs so much, which it does, because I just don't, I just, I, I wanna stay on two wheels as long as I can. So she, we and her have come to an agreement that she's gonna go back to a spider, and for the most part, she's gonna follow me everywhere, or I'll follow her, whatever, but she's gonna follow me or I'll follow her everywhere we'll make trips that way. That way it'll kind of keep me on two wheels. Hopefully. But yeah, that's my question to you. Again, does pain stop you from riding? Do, does, it, does it ever just, do you ever just get up and say, you know, today was the day I was gonna go ride, but I'm in so much pain, I'm not gonna ride. I'm just not gonna ride today. I, I, I have been in those days where I think, I'm just not gonna go today, but I just can't stop myself. I can't, you know, and I know it's, it's a safety issue. I know you shouldn't be out riding when you're hurting so bad because your mind's on your pain, not so much on the road. But I can't stop myself. I go anyway. It doesn't matter. I, I won't even tell the wife how bad I'm hurt, or my knee, how bad my knees are hurting that day or whatever. I won't tell her. I just but she'll say, I know you're hurting. She goes, I can tell. I'm like, hey, let's just go. Let's just go. Now, I do trailer my bike now more than I, you know, I bought a trailer a year or two ago, a year ago because I had to, because if I'm going to Tennessee, I had to trailer down and ride while I'm down there, wherever I'm going, North Carolina, whatever, wherever I'm going, that way it's easier on my body. But with her getting her bike and then me being on my bike, I'm hoping we can make those trips without the trailer and not have that issue. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's hard to have a motorcycle sitting there and something you love and the passion that you had and be in some pain and not be able to ride. I feel bad for guys who can't, that are so much pain, it's just so bad, which mine has been pretty bad. Sometimes it's just, ugh, it's just really bad, but I keep rocking and rolling. But there's some guys, they just can't, and they can't get on the bike, and I, and I know I've seen plenty of people selling bikes because they're, they are they got back problems, they got this problem, they got that problem, they can't ride no more. To them I say, try three wheels, try three wheels if that keeps you out there. But that's my question to you. Bleep loop it down there in the comment section. Let me know. Does pain ever stop you? Any kind of pain, anything ever stop you from riding? Bleep loop it down there, like I said, let me know. Hey, I'm not gonna be putting up a lot of, I might not be putting up a lot of shorts this week because, well, it'll be previous week. So you guys won't see this until a week from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it gets confusing. But anyway, there might not be a lot of shorts going up for a little while because the way I'm feeling, depends on how long I'm sick. Yeah, I like to do the shorts now on the bike. In the winter time, I do it in the truck. Maybe, hey, you know what, maybe we'll do it in the truck. But anyway, again, for the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth time, does pain stop you? Does pain ever stop you from riding your motorcycle? Anyway, like, subscribe. The channel's been growing. I appreciate every one of you guys. Uh, I think in one day, one day off of one video, I think we got 20 subscribers in one day. So I think it's great. And welcome aboard everybody that has subscribed. I appreciate you being here. I, I, I think it's great the channel's growing. And I love going back and forth to guys to tell you this guys all the time how much I appreciate you. I try to answer everybody's comments and I, it, it's great that the channel's growing. And I, and I respect every one of you guys. I don't try to insult anybody on this channel. I, I have much respect for everyone. Anyway, like I said, 
like, subscribe, leave a comment, and leave it down there. Let me know. And you know, to answer to my question, does pain ever stop you from riding? Anyway, guys, be safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care now. GoPro, stop recording.